Good evening. Tis I, Gidget, mistress of Griffin Manor, and your hostess for tonight's episode of Master Surf Mystery Theater. It was an eerie, foggy afternoon when our tale of terror began. Now, come on, it's only a little story about a slumber party, kids. Don't be scared. <laughs> You sure your hands arranged for all the comestibles, potables, and plastic parks? Are you kidding? What's a slumber party without enough junk food? We have enough in the refrigerator to feed Refrigerator Perry. Well, it's the least she can do since we're stuck babysitting your Uncle Jeff's nephew, Dennis. The menace. Don't remind me. This is Simon Train for K-Gold on a fogbound Friday the 13th, sending out this next song to a ghost, the Headless Surfer, a dude that kind of lost his head in a wave called Dead Man's Curl. Danny, perhaps tonight is the optimum night for a slumber party. I have a low threshold for fright. Don't get spooked, ladies. Easy for you to say. I freak on spooky nights. Hi, Jason. Taking a trip? Not exactly. But you might be. How would you like to have the best day of your life tonight? With who? Me. There's this great new Cajun restaurant. Everything is hot and spicy, like yours truly. Say yes? Say no. Slumber party tonight. Sorry. You choose a slumber party with a bunch of skirts over a private party with a truly unique guy? Heather, Vanessa, and Gail are all coming over, and we've had it planned for weeks. I don't buy that as a major excuse. Then buy this. I'm not interested. Hey, it's a free plan, and you are free to make the biggest boo-boo in the history of Western dating. <laughs> you know what's funny? Most girls go berserk over him. Oh, Jason! Forgot his sunglasses. It's all right. He's in the dark anyway. You never know how things are gonna turn out. The days we played in the sun just seem to fade away. But there's one thing I can count on. That's for sure. The girl I fell in love with is the same. known as the slumber party. Meanwhile, Moondoggy and I got ready for a ritual of our own, the office party. Put a lid on it, Buster. <laughs> Hey, Dan. Come on, Uncle Jeff. Oh, hi. Turn the house down, kiddo. All right, we have the keys to the car. Your speech is on index cards. I've tightly wrapped my sarong. Mm. What kind of office party is this? Well, this is a luau. We're going out to Mai Tai went on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Parmenter is throwing it in honor of the mayor of Kahena. Yeah, if all goes well, we'll be sister surf cities. It'll be a first for California and Hawaii. This guy has been working so hard all week, he's delivering the official welcome speech in Hawaiian. Don't remind me. <laughs> You've seen a Wi-Fi, Uncle Jeff. 
All you need to know is patch me through to McGarrett and book him, Dono. No, no, that's a book him, Dano. All right, on, here's now. the number at City Hall. You call us if you need anything. Keep the doors locked. Oh, and listen, make sure and keep the front porch line on the Fox Post to get worse, OK? Bye. And you know what tonight is? The 13th, the night the headless surfer roams. You guys, at midnight, the headless surfer rises from his watery grave in search of his missing head. Oh, is he cute? Heather, can we please change the subject? I think it's time to discuss the profound subtleties of fruit facials. Yeah, strawberry versus papaya. The debate rages on. Oh, wait, don't you want to see a movie? Bloodbath Beach, part two? The platelets fight back. So oh, please. Here it comes. Sammy! Heather! Oh, this is no disgusting. Way, no. Come on, Vanessa. No, wait, this is a bad part. Oh, oh, I can't hear the chainsaw. Oh, oh God! <laughs> Danny, I can't believe you turned down a date with Jason. I mean, he's so unique. Get a real life. The only thing Jason's interested in is getting girls to say yes. And once they do, he says no. That is absolutely, positively correct in our assessment of Jason. He's president of his own fan club, and it only has three members. He, himself, and him. Yeah, but he's so hot. And his head is still attached to his body. <laughs> ah! What was that? Probably just Dennis up to his old tricks again. Or the headless surfer. There's no such thing as Check the closet, Danny. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> See, no big deal. Who are you gonna call? And hey, get it! <laughs> Danny called to say she was okay. What's so strange about that? The only time teenagers call you to say they're okay is when there's something wrong. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. I've got hair like a Tina Turner. Eyes like a Chardet. Hey, what the... A... And Mick Jagger's lips. <laughs> Dennis, cut it out! What if it isn't Dennis? Dennis, get up here right now! Dennis! Let's get that menace and teach him a lesson. We'll split up. Rack. Okay. <laughs> On the other hand, there is safety in numbers.
partaking of the tormentor's passion for poi, a terrible dread wrapped its icy fingers around my telltale heart. I couldn't get Danny's first phone call off my mind, or her second, or her third phone call. Something was definitely wrong at the house. So when Jeffrey assured me that he was fine and that I could catch his speech on videotape, I headed home. Feed me, Gidget. <laughs> Jason, I never thought I'd say this, but I'm really glad you're here. Hey, your girls, you got weirded out. I'm a guy. Relax. The lights are back on. I mean, all it took was a switch of the old circuit breaker. Lucky I was here. Why are you here, anyway? Oh, I uh, left my shades over at the travel agency. I was wondering if uh, maybe you had brought them home. It's at the front door now, and I think it means business. Hey. I'll handle it. Don't tell me. Surf's up. Hey, I, you, I know there's something wrong with this picture, but Jason just saved us from the headless surfer. <clears throat> Who? Uh, Jason, Mrs. Griffin. I'm Danny's friend from homeroom. Did you just say the headless surfer? He was here. We, we saw, saw him. him. And Jason scared him away. <laughs> Wait a minute, you guys. I had a feeling that something was wrong, but I didn't think it was going to be this. Your imaginations are in overdrive. Maybe I'd better secure the perimeter. Just to be sure. <laughs> OK. If it'll make you feel better, I'll check upstairs. Oh, I'm coming too! <laughs> you didn't really see a ghost. Well, it's hard to miss a surfer 10 feet tall covered with seaweed. He was standing right out there on the patio with a surfboard and a complexion so clear you could see right through it! <laughs> it looks like a payoff to me. Jason! Why would he go through all that trouble? I guess some guys just can't take no for an answer. Obviously, I was trying to suck you into dating him, and it almost worked. Well, he's got something coming to him, but what? Well, two can play that game. <laughs> Hello! <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, let us raise our shells in a toast to Mayor Hayano of Kia. Uh, Kai, uh, Hawaii. <laughs> to paraphrase John F. Kennedy, Ich bin ein Hawaiianer. <laughs> and now, to deliver our official wiki wiki welcome, may I introduce my devoted subordinate, Jeff Griffin. <laughs> If cities are going to share a common bond, they must also share a common understanding. So it is with great pride that I say to our honored guests, Ho'oku akahai ke'au o aloha. Ho'ohui ia nakanaka maluna moana kai. O kai kuahine kahoku kako ilua. Kulana kuahale mauahana Ma'uau, Ma'malu here. When I first saw this Polynesian paradise created in our honor, <laughs> I didn't know what to think. Do we really want to bond with mainlanders who believe we hula all day long and say things like, patch me through to McGarrett. <laughs> <laughs> but hearing this moving tribute from someone who took the time and trouble to learn our language makes me believe the Sister City program will be a learning experience for us both. 
In the aloha spirit, I'd like to present this token of our appreciation to the man who's responsible oh. for all this. <laughs> Oh, Jeff Griffin. <laughs> While Moondoggy basked in the glow of civic pride, the girls and I hatched a plan to give Jason a fright night of his own. Aunt Kitchen is coming! <gasps> Whatever it was, it's gone now. In fact, I can guarantee it won't be back. What a he-man. You can be master of my universe any day. Yeah? But will you go out with me next Saturday? After all you've done? How could I refuse? Ah, oh, good answer. <laughs> I'll pick you up at 7.30. Wait, you can't leave us alone! There's not a man in the house. Besides, we don't want you to drive in this fog. It can Dangerous. People have accidents. Strange, inexplicable accidents. <laughs> um, not with the fog lights on my stingray. Oh, <gasps> that's funny. You know who else drove a stingray? The headless surfer? Right. Uh, Mrs. Griffin, you cannot expect me to buy that whole thing. <gasps> you sit down, Jason. <laughs> and I'll tell you the real story, just the way the great kahuna told it to me many years ago. It all happened on a night like this. A strange night. A night when evil lurks and terrifying spirits hide within the shroud of fog. A handsome young surfer was meeting his buddies at the beach that fateful night. The pier was rattling. The wind was howling. What was that? I didn't hear anything. Me neither. <laughs> Many of his friends were meeting him at the beach, including the beautiful Annie. The one girl he could never impress. Out in the ocean, a wave started forming. A strange, monstrous wave, black as death. And from within its eerie curl, a voice beckoned him to see. <laughs> Gee, it's late. I think I'd better scoot. You're not scared, are you, Jason? Oh, no. Of course not. Good. This surfer wasn't frightened either. If he could just ride that one wave, Annie would be his forever. So he paddled out into the thunderous abyss, and he caught the wave they call Dead Man's Curl. <laughs> what next? He wiped out. <laughs> Peeled his mangled body off the beach. There was one thing missing. His head. when Master Surf Mystery Theater is proud to present Trist and Shout, a gothic tale of lust, greed, and really loud music. Well, kids, I hope you learned a lesson. The only way to conquer fear is to meet it head on. It sure is dusty around here. <laughs> <sighs> 
Hana, Mawau, Mamalu here. Ah! Oh, you were great. I'm so proud of you. What a great speech. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Honey. You know, I felt so honored when Mayor Hayano presented me with a ceremonial tiki mask. Do you know what this means? <laughs> that you can be a witch doctor without a license? Mm -hmm. It means that I'm an honorary Hawaiian. Like Imelda Marcos? <laughs> you know, I don't know why I was so afraid of the speech. I will never fear the unknown again. You know, it was like I was telling the kids. There's always a logical explanation for everything. Yeah. <gasps> Did you hear that? Quick, under here before it gets us. Under where? The magic sheet. Oh! <laughs> Is this your idea of a slumber party? Party now, slumber later. <laughs>